In this video, we'll create a transforming hamburger menu with this animated toggle navigation button. So as you can see, when we click on it, it's going to turn into an X, and then we click on it again to close it, it's gonna turn back into the hamburger menu. So in the description of this video will be the completed version that you can download, but I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch here in Google Chrome, and in my text editor here, which is the free program called Sublime Text. So I'm just gonna call this Transforming Hamburger Menu Animated Toggle Nav Button. Okay, and then let's drop down to the body section, and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a wrapper ID. So that's basically going to be the wrapper around the whole animated toggle button. So we'll just call this div ID wrapper. And then inside of our wrapper here, we'll have our circle with the icon inside of it. So we'll just call this div class circle and then space icon. And then we can close out our div. And inside of there, we'll have a span class for each one of the white bars that we're seeing. So we'll just call this line top for the first one. And then for the second span class, we'll call it line middle. And then close out your span tag. And then the last one, let's call line bottom. OK. All right, so that's everything for our HTML. So now what we'll do is let's go ahead and just add our jQuery script here. So I'm gonna import the source from the Google API. So it's https colon uh, ajax.googleapis.com forward slash ajax forward slash libs forward slash jQuery. And this is the latest version at the time of this video, which is 3.3.1, and then jQueryMin.js. Okay, and then you can close out your script tag. And now we'll create our script internally here rather than linking to an external JavaScript file. So we'll just do a simple jQuery script here, telling it to uh, close the icon on click. Okay, so let's reference our div ID wrapper here. And then click. And then we'll give it its function. So open and close parentheses. And what we'll say is on click, we want the icon class, which is right here to close. So dot icon and then dot toggle class with a capital C and then in parentheses and quote close. Okay and then you can add your semicolons to close out the script here. Okay so now let's go ahead and move up to our CSS. So just like the script there, let's just do this internally to save us some time rather than linking to a separate style.css sheet. So the first thing that we'll style will be the um, the wrapper here, so div ID wrapper. So as you know with IDs, we'll use the hashtag rather than the period for the class. So hashtag wrapper, and we'll give it its blue background color, which is the hex value 0d6fba. And then we'll say display inline block. And we'll give it a large border radius to create the circle at 500 pixels. And then let's give it some margin to separate it from the sides of the browser window there. So we'll give it a margin of 10 pixels all around. And then position relative and padding 50 pixels, which will actually give it its size. So now if we refresh, we have it at about 100 pixels in width with the padding 50 pixels all around. And let's just add cursor pointer so we're not seeing the triangular cursor when we're hovering over it. 
So now let's style the circle class down here. So basically we're going to enlarge this and let's give it a height and width of 100% or sorry 100 pixels and then we'll say position relative okay so now we can go ahead and just drop our icon lines in there so here we have the line class so let's go ahead and reference that dot line we'll say position absolute and we'll give each line a height of 12 pixels and a width of 100 percent inside of our circle class and then we'll say background color white and now if we refresh there we have the first line showing up let's also round the corners with some border radius here so border radius 8 pixels and now if we refresh it looks a little softer now what we'll add is a transition cubic bezier curve so basically what we're adding is a little bit of bounce to our transition with four different coordinates so the first coordinate and the third coordinate are the start and end points and then the second and fourth coordinates here will be the a curve or the bounce effect that we get within the start and end points and we'll have it last 0.35 seconds so later in the video I'm going to show you how you can change this around but for now we'll just leave it in there and let's go down to uh, adding the rest of our lines here so we'll add the first one at 18 percent and then the second one the middle will have top 48 percent and then the third will have top 78 percent okay so now if we go and refresh there we have our three lines laid out for us so now let's go ahead and reference the close class that we added in our uh, jQuery script which is we have the icon and then we have the close class here so let's go ahead and reference both of these so we'll say dot icon dot close and then dot top to reference the uh, first line and what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate it 45 degrees to its end position with the X so we'll say transform rotate and then in parentheses 45 DEG for degrees and then top 48 percent to keep it centered within our circle okay so there we have our top line dropping the 45 degrees and then sort of bouncing back up so let's move on to the middle and bottom lines here so let's go ahead and reference the um, the middle one first with dot icon dot close space dot middle and then comma dot icon dot close dot bottom for the last one and we'll say transform ro rotate negative 45 degrees to be opposite from the from the top one to create the X and then we'll also have this uh, to at top 48 percent to keep it centered okay so now if we go ahead and refresh there we have our transforming hamburger menu with the bounce and if we slow down our transition here at the cubic bezier uh, we'll see that the we'll see much easier that the bottom two are going to transform into one line and we have the little bounce there so you can go ahead and ref uh, mess around with these numbers to change the speed as well as the uh, the start and end points and the curve so for example we put it at 0.25 seconds it's going to be much faster here but that does it for the tutorial. I want to thank you for sticking around. Please remember to like this video, subscribe 
turn on your notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.